All right, first graders, we are going to practice adding numbers by using the e-tools on the EDM site. Do you remember how to get there? I bet you do. Just in case, remember you click the EM if you have that on your iPad. If not, go through Clever. Just like you see Mrs. Faust's screen, click on the red McGraw-Hill button. And this brings us to the EDM. We're in first grade, so we're gonna click grade one. Then on this next screen, we're going to go to the green button that says E-Toolkit. Do you remember what Mrs. Rago used for her game? Yes, she used dice. So we are going to need to click our button in the corner and go down until we see dice. You are going to need two of them, first graders. I'm going to grab a green one and a white one. Now, I forgot to tell you, you also are gonna need a piece of paper and something to write on. So pause the video right now and go get a piece of paper and something to write on. All right, first graders, now it's time to play our game. What we're going to do is roll our dice. Mrs. Faust rolled a five. I also rolled a six. That means on my piece of paper, I'm going to write five plus six equals. Then first graders, you have to figure out what is five plus six. You could count the dots there on the dice. Or I wonder if you could go to the E tools and find something fun to count with. I see counters as a choice. Oh, I see money. You could always bring money over five pennies plus six pennies. Oh, I also see number line. You could bring a number line over and do your jumps. Five jumps plus six jumps. You have lots of choices, first graders, how you could solve this problem. When you have your answer, you're going to write that answer on your piece of paper. So, do you know what five plus six equals? Yes, it equals 11. So I'm gonna write 11. Now you can see that Mrs. Faust did one math problem. You are going to do five math problems. So I'm gonna roll my dice and do five more times. Then on your piece of paper, when you have your five math problems, you're going to take a picture and turn that in below to your teacher so we can see all the fun math you did today. Remember, you can always challenge yourself. If you're a person who this is really easy and you need to bump it up, maybe you could use three dice. Who knows? Have fun being mathematicians today.